Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Fountain Mountain. Last episode, we placed a lot of platforms all around, and uh, we are still waiting for them to all be completed. We'll uh, let the beavers do work on that. We're also going to enable this district today. So, um, what we need to do is uh, set up the district gates correctly at the places where we need to have them. We might want to finish those first so that we actually have water in this district as well. We do have some over here. Um, this we already disconnected. I'm going to disconnect this one as well. And place a district gate. There we go. And now we can do the same over here. And place a district gate right here. And that should mean that this district is now separate from the other ones. And we can connect this road. There we go. Now we can unpause these breeding pods. Some of them do have enough ingredients to make us a nice little kit. But we are going to go into the migration po population panel. And uh, we're going to see if we can uh, manage some of this population. We should have... 50 beavers in this district at least because we have 50 jobs over here um we should have 41 we're gonna put that also on 50 probably and then whatever we have left now we're gonna send over here and we kind of want that as 50 as well so we now have 18 beavers going to that district which is great start so let them go we'll uh, we'll see them arrive shortly here they come, and hopefully they will fill the correct, proper jobs. Um, we should have a couple of them in there. We do not have housing yet. We do not have water storage yet, but hopefully, uh, hopefully they can finish some. We also do not have planks yet, so that might be an issue. We need to get a temporary place where we can uh, where we can build those. So let's get rid of some of this let's see if we make a path go out here or here we can just get rid of some of this and of course the path itself as well and we'll uh we'll give that a little bit of priority there we have it they're all sleeping on the on the floor um yeah we'll uh we'll get them going maybe we'll temporarily disconnect these two and reconnect it to the other so that they can finish this and uh from the other district and we'll uh we'll give that a little bit of priority uh yep there we go maybe not like this and there we go. Hopefully that will finish that now. We're removing some little area so that we can start our plank production. We do not have any. We have three unemployed beavers, which is great. We're going to add um, these three here. And we're going to add these three here. We're going to prioritize this one and this one. It's already being built. Great. So we have some of them. Now we need to make sure that it's all marked to be cut. It is. And we can go back to this part of the build. We're also going to make sure that there is four beavers in here. And we do not need all of those enabled. And same goes for this. We don't need these two enabled. Okay. So... Now that we have this little area available to us, we're going to make sure that we have a hamster wheel right there. And we're going to add a wood production here. I We need more of this stuff removed. Here we go. Prioritize that a little bit. And uh, 
that we can set another hamster wheel on this side as well. Turn it around so that the path is on the right side. Okay, so I hope they're working on all of this. Because we're also having all of this being built. We kind of need to detonate this. And then we can connect it all up. There we go. Priority of that. And the rest can be built whenever. They are working on all of this. So that is nice. We will be getting some of this stuff done. So that we can actually store our produce planks and whatnot. I'm going to prioritize these as well. And we can place down the path. Over on this side. Don't really need that final bit of the path, but it is what it is. So it's starting to look really symmetrical everywhere now that we have all four district centers placed. Our water is set up properly as well, so that is nice. And uh, now we can go in every district, go up and uh, start making the industrial area and have our power. So we're getting close to uh, to finishing off, I think, once we have all the uh, all the districts and the top parts done. We're, uh, we're gonna call it a day for this playthrough. It's uh, still gonna be a few episodes. Um, I am already thinking about what I'm gonna do next, what I wanna do next for a playthrough. Um, but if you have any suggestions on uh, on a new Timberborn uh, Let's Play playthrough, please uh, please let me know in the comments. I'm always interested what you guys would like to see me do. Um, I prefer builds like this or the mega builds that I've been doing. So I'm not really... I've done the hard mode challenges and stuff like that. I'm not really a fan of those. It Once you've done it, it kind of, you know, it is what it is. I, I prefer to design and build. I have more fun in that kind of way with the game. Um, yeah, so let's see. How are they doing on wood? We have... We, we are making progress here. So that is good. And we have a couple of baby beavers as well. And I think we are getting more beavers being shifted over to this district as we go. I'm going to enable one more. I'm actually going to enable all of them. We have all of these filled with, uh, with beavers. I don't know if we need four of them right now. I think we can do with two. Um, the only thing we're really using is, 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 is the sunflowers and, and the carrots at the moment anyways, because we do not have a grill yet. We're going to be working our way towards that over on this side. Um, the grill is going to be located right here. If I'm not mistaken, I always have to recheck with the uh, other sides. Yeah, it's right next to the log pile. So let's place one of those log piles right here. And let's get rid of these things over here because they're in the way. And we prioritize this. And then we can uh, place our nice little uh, grill over here. And get that finished at some point. Okay, we are having... We, we, we have stuff happening. We can pause this one for now. We don't have the second hamster wheel finished. Okay, we are producing golems. Yes, we are. We have nine of them. So we should start replacing some of our beavers over in this district. First of all, let's replace the golems uh, production with golems. So 
How much is this to unlock? It's 5,000. We exactly have enough for that. Well, yeah, we have 7,000, but... So these ones are unlocked. So that means we can replace all of those. And that gives us three beavers or three golems working. It means we have still six unemployed beavers. We have a uh, production of, um, of our um, science points by these two number crunchers. And we do have these ones taken three per hour. So that's six per hour getting taken away. And we get 20 per hour. So we, we basically get 14 per hour on science points. Now, I would like this one to also be beavers, but that is 10,000 science points. So let's uh, make sure our plank production is happening throughout the night. And I'm going to enable this one as well. And we're going to make that a cock head as well. So now we have five of them employed. And we'll do the same with the gear factories over here. Get them golems working in there. Great. Um... What else should we be doing? We can do the same over here. We can uh, we can have these plank factories be golem nized, and I'm gonna enable this one as well and put a golem in this one as well. And now we have all ten of them working. Very good. That is 24 hours a day that they will be producing those, and uh, that saves uh, our poor little beavers a uh, little bit of a job. And that probably means uh, we can move some more to another district okay how many unemployed beavers do we have here four so well we are waiting for this to be finished which will be done in the morning so i'm going to enable this okay uh, it, it's starting to look like uh like something over here they're building all of these um so that is good we have materials place over in these ones so they should be able to make them now the question is are we gonna going to do anything with the middle bit or are we going to leave it i think we could make something nice um not entirely sure what we could uh levy off parts so that the water is spilling out only on on certain on certain parts maybe if we leave the sides open like here, 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 and here, and close the rest off with uh, levees, and um, and place platforms over here, and then make a nice little railing of uh, of, of of metal fences or or plank fences. We can unlock the metal fence around it, and just you know make this a a, a mountain that is protected. With, um, with something that would mean we need a way to get up there and uh, I think that would go from these locations going straight here we could make a make a path up there I think we uh, we can start doing that from our main district I mean they have nothing to build right now anyways so we can start doing that so that would be this one and we will do that with um, this stuff. We don't need this anymore. I'm going to delete that. And instead, we're going to place um, this one right over there. Because that is the place we're going to go from. That means that is a triple one. Then we have doubles over there. I just want to make them all align at the same height. That is kind of my thing. I'm pretty sure there's other people doing the same. And now we're going to go up. And we kind of know that this is where we're going to have the final bit of the staircase. So we're doing a three, two, and then a one. And that is how we're going to go up there. There we go. That is our way towards the center. And yeah, I think we're going to keep these three blocks open and the rest levied off. And um, maybe if we 
if we place levees around here, we can put a um, nice little flame of progress on each of these. Or no, I'd rather have the labor monument because that looks like a beaver. That is a thousand to unlock. So that would be like overlooking like so. That would be cool, right? Um, I don't think these will block water, so we have to levy it up behind it. But that's okay. And uh, yeah, I think that will that will look cool. Or we can place it backwards more and levy it off in front. So we could have one like this. And then have levies go in front of it. But then I kind of would want it up one more. We could do that. And then we have the um, fencing on top of this. So nothing here. Yeah, I think uh, I think that is a good plan. Let's uh, start with that. And this will give us... This way we will remember what we have planned for all of this. So that we don't forget. And that will be fenced off. Like so. And I don't know, we might be able to make something here that they can visit as well. I mean, it's not really any place for a temple. We could make a temple up here, but that is, seems very weird to have the industrial area have a temple as well. I think we're going to skip the temple for this playthrough. Um, in the meantime, let's look how this is going. We, we're doing we're doing business they're they're working on all of it I'm sure these guys are helping out um, as far as they can because they can reach a, a, quite a bit of this and that means we can also start putting down some paths we know that the path is gonna go around this way and I'm always so, it's on this end where the path is going to go. And then we can build the barracks. Because we do need housing. And that is like so and so. And that will be great once we have that finished. Our beavers in this district are no longer homeless. Okay, they're doing their best on finishing this. I'm going to go ahead and make the path go a little bit this way. Um, eventually, we'll have also a, a path down here, I think. Yeah, just to make it neatly and even. It means we do need to have a district gate that's probably going to be on this side. So that would be here. And... That means we need platforms right there and there. And then that means the water is going to spill through there as well. We could go hop over. But I am not entirely sure if I want to do that. We'll see. Maybe we'll just delete the, the whole getting up there anyways. Yeah, then we don't need these. I think in the end we'll, we'll just close it off with levees. So that is going to be it. One, two, except for this one probably is going to be there. Um, and then we'll have the same over on this side. So that's these two. And then these two. And then one like that. And that is going to be the spillway. Hopefully that is enough. I think it is. I think it is. Otherwise, we'll, we can always remove these two. Okay, so we'll do the same over on this side. There we go. We'll have two, uh, two, and then one. All right, that is going to be what we're doing up here. And we also know that we are going to have more decoration. 
So that is that one and that one. It uh it, it won't reach anyone, but it's just for looks, right? So it's not to get that um to get that extra bonus. Just it is what it is. We also need to add a temporary staircase to get up here somehow. Um not entirely sure how we're gonna easily do that. We could we could do that temporary like this. Uh, what did we disconnect now? Yeah, two of those. That is completely fine. We'll just add a temporary staircase like that. And then go up here so that we can finish that off. We will do that later on this side as well. So that they still have a one um, rooftop terrace to enjoy and uh, have fun at. Okay, so... Um, we should probably start blowing up more over here. That is, this whole thing can be blown up. We do have the reach. They're just busy with other things. And that with other things, I mean, they're busy with this whole platforming situation. Which is great that they're working on that because we want that compl completed uh, as soon as possible. And I kind of want this as well done so that we have all the water that we can get right now. I'm going to prioritize these things there we go that should be all of them prioritize yeah they should be able to reach that and they can come from this side they can help and uh yeah that should be that should be ready pretty quickly All right, so how is this going? They're they're almost on top, and then they can start placing those levees. They can work on the labor monument eventually. Uh, that's two hundred logs. We should have plenty. Do we have plenty? Um, yeah, I think so. Yeah. On the other hand, we we are ripping up all these uh, all these maple trees pretty quickly. Uh, but we should be okay. It will get completed. At some point. Um, these ones are on pause. How many beavers do we have? We have six unemployed. So I'm going to unpause these. Just the more we have ready. Wood wise. The more we can ship off to this area. And place on our platforms. And... We will be disconnecting this here soon so that we can connect. I think we can can do that right now. I think we want to connect this up instead. And uh, I think remove this path up until where we need to connect it to the grill. Uh, the grill on what side is the exit yes that is what i thought so we're gonna leave that one but we do need to get up here at some point and then place all of that all righty um this side yeah, we're, we're currently helping out here. As soon as we have this done, we can we can focus on getting this industrial area ready and going. And uh, the question is, do we want to make those mines? I think we should. Then at least we have all of the things in an endless supply form. So um, the exit of the... Town center is pointing this direction, so I think we should point the exit of the mine towards the same end. Is that logical? I feel like that could be a thing. Oh, but we need 4,000 science points for that, so we can't unlock it yet. We we'll just have to wait. Um, hopefully this district 
we can complete soon uh, with more power and we can put another number cruncher down so that we get more science points. We don't need any golems here yet. Uh, we'll let them self-produce those. So, one golem factory, which we have here, is uh, can supply 70, 70 uh, golems. And we have about 70 jobs. So I think we're going to be okay with 70 golems with one in each district. We're going to place two. Well, we're going to go and uh, just um, disable one. We're, pa we're pausing it until we uh, have a lot of things to do with beavers or with golems all of a sudden. Like terraforming. I don't think we're going to go do that in this playthrough, but I will make the map available as a save game on the Discord server once we are done with the playthrough. And then everybody can go ahead and uh, and make it as they see fit. Right. Um, This is this is this is getting all the platforms are almost done. We we have like eight uh, or whatever ten ten platforms to be finished, and they're uh, they're working their ass off to get that done. And over here we are already placing levees. We are also placing this giant labor monument. So that is great. I'm not entirely sure how they, they have a very far reach. So I think we're going to temporarily remove this and just go around and let them um, let them place what they can from this district. And uh, that should, uh, should be fun. There we go. We can do this one as well. We can say that this needs to be done. We know that we need these ones. And then we can place a labor monument here as well. Pointing it in the correct direction towards the villages. All right. That is going to look great, I think. Look at that. Four left. Um... These guys are working on this part. So that is good as well. And then we can go up and get a... If we can get all the way up, we can get a builder's hut. So that is good. And we can put a hauling post on top of the log pile. So we can place that one there. And we can set this to low priority and up it all the way to 10. Now, they can also start working on the houses that will make our beavers a lot happier. And yes, 4,000 science points to unlock the mine. Place it over here, pointing this direction. That means... Um, we do want the road to go one more on either side, but we'll we'll connect it onto this one, pointing towards the same direction as the town center. All right, the final two uh, are not being made just yet. They're waiting for planks. Okay. In the meantime, they are. Throwing all sorts of uh, materials to all of the rest. We're just mostly waiting for planks. Uh, I'm going to enable this one. Because why not? We don't really need... Yeah, we'll leave both on. Um, if we just give this priority, then the power... This one can be gone. So let's... Let's... Uh, we highest priority and this one is yeah it's already correct priority there i do want to make a couple of these so, there we go 
Um, this, yeah, this looks good. Wow, they've already placed the fences here as well. That is good. We're going to continue with those. Maybe not on the corner, on the corners of that. That is not going to be connected. So we're going to place... Ah, that doesn't look great. Um, maybe we do want this then. Yeah, okay. We'll, uh, we'll keep it like that for the moment. And there we go. Same on this side. Place the path. For the moment, that is going to be this. They can continue building all this stuff. I think they can reach easily from our main district. And there we go. That's the third one. Now, let's see what these beavers are up to. What buildings are they working on? Yeah, they're just mostly waiting for planks over here. But we do have another plank factory working right now. And we have power to support all of them. So this one can be removed. Then that means also we can go ahead and make a grist mill. Is this already set to bread? Not yet. And I think the grist mill needs to go here, right? Not mistaken. Yeah, and then we can have a medicine hut right next to it. I mean, a healer. Okay. Well, they, 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 we don't need to hurry with those. Um, I, I can detonate this. I don't, I don't mind. That can be gone. Um, we need to do the same over here. I'm gonna that is not a dynamite this is dynamite okay right they're doing their best it's nighttime but we have some golems who work throughout the night well they shoot they're not really working because we have too many planks over in this district. That is great. Whereas in this district, we could use a couple of golems. Um, where do we have the charging stations for the golems? We have one over here. And is that it? We only have two charging stations. That seems a little bit... That's not enough, huh? We definitely need to think about that. Um, okay, that is a thing. Let's, uh, let's make sure that we can charge them properly. Um, hmm. Where are we going to do that? And that is a great question. We could, what we can do is make, yeah, we can make something nice. I think. So for the moment, we're going to go ahead and place a couple of platforms right here. We're going to prioritize those. And on top of those, we're going to make the recharge stations. So we can do the same over in the other district. And then maybe we send over a couple of golems. A charging station. This one and this one. And this one and this one. So kind of want to prioritize all of that. And then we'll remove these. Um, and make those T crossings. So if we look over here. We can already say that this needs to be a... T crossing and that has lowest priority for now this one needs to be that that has highest priority and then 
That one can go like that. And we can place two of those and add charging stations right there. So that is something. Look at this. We have the first large warehouse. Um, that is the same as this one. That one is not storing anything. I think this one is storing wood or planks, right? Yeah, exactly. So the inner one, that is this one. So once this is built, we're going to go store planks in there. There we go. We do have our industrial log pile done right now. So that is something. And we have some houses done as well. So we're getting it going. And I do want to prioritize uh, the large water tank. That means we do have to prioritize this. And this one. And this one. Everything over here needs to be prioritized. Okay. Yeah, so this all has power. We should probably enable one of these. Maybe both of them. To start making some gears. Because do we have gears in this district? We do not. And we need some to make this. We need 20 to be precise. Um, over here. This district is slowly working its way. We can actually go up. And now that they have done all of the other things. Um, we do have an employed beaver, so we can help out with making more gears. And I think they're working on these platforms now. From over uh, here. Yeah, they can, they can basically reach the whole thing so i am going to continue finishing this whole thing off from our main district or not main district our original district so that we can actually get this all done that means we don't really need to keep those gaps and i'm just gonna go ahead and close them off There we go. And that means we can close this off. Close this off. Uh, this, this, and then this. And we can close it off here, here, here. Um, that seems like too much. This is maybe a little bit too much. Should be like this. There we go. And then the final platform can go over here. I think we should prioritize these because otherwise those can never be built. I'm gonna place this first. Um, and prioritize those as well. Just so those get done before they start making this thing hopefully and the same can be done for uh this there we go and now we finish off the rest of the fences and then we'll see what we do with the rest of this area if we are gonna make some things on top of it but this is going to be a thing at least. Um, right. What am I looking for? It's, it's getting more and more difficult. And I have to look at the top to see which district I have to go to. Um, yeah, so we have planks and we are having things built. Hopefully they're working on this one. Yeah, they are. We're waiting for planks. We're waiting for gears. And um, yeah, this needs to be done as well so that we can actually get into that. 
thing. Um, these ones are built, so we do have quite a bit of, uh, of water production in this district. This one is waiting for gears as well. Well, that is going to be a long while because as soon as this water tank is built, um, I'm going to disconnect. I'm going to put the um, district gate right here again. This building is not connected to any districts because of this path. And that's okay. We'll, uh, we'll reconnect that up in a minute once this is built. We need uh, only a, a handful more of materials. And we have a big production right here. We're not making the power that we should be making, but uh, they're working on this dynamite. I'm going to detonate that one. And so that we can make the path back over. And I'm going to prioritize this one as well. Get this done so that we can get over here and uh, start removing this and get another water wheel on this side. Um, I don't know. Let's go back here. What did we do over here? Did we place levies? Yes, we placed levies. So it is levies going this way and then... Three of them going that way. Actually, there's a fourth one, of course. That one. And then there is also a levy on this side. And another two over on this side. There we go. And we'll uh we'll make our bridge connection. Wait, this doesn't make any sense to put it there. The bridge needs to go over here. There we go. And there we have an incoming drought. Okay, they're busy working on all of this. That is interesting. And we'll... Fix this and we'll place our charging stations there as soon as we can. Um, that is completely done. That one is done. We're working on that. They're working on this still. Three more gears. Two more gears. And this staircase is not going to be done because this is not going to be done. So we need that ready first. Okay, I'm, I'm glad we have an idea of what we want to do up here. I think I'm going to go ahead and we'll maybe platform this on the inside. I don't know yet. And uh, platform on top of this. Because if we do this, we can continue with the fence and maybe we can somehow get up here. I don't know if we need to get up there, but... Like if we if we place platforms here, we could have a rooftop terrace with an overlook of the city. But yeah, we'll uh, we'll we'll see what we're gonna do if we're gonna do something like that. I don't know yet. Okay, the water tank is done. Now we're only waiting for the staircase, and the staircase is just one log and four planks, and that should get us where we need to be. That is going to be done in the morning. How many? We have a six golems. Do we have our charging stations done yet? No, because they need gears and metal blocks. Do we already have metal uh, production? We have a smelter. So we could enable this again. And uh, we're going to prioritize one of these. Yeah, we can prioritize one of these so that we have at least one charging station. Then we're going to send over a couple of, uh, of, um, golems. Uh, what are we, this one? Okay, it's done. It is done. 
And then we will disconnect this. Thank you. And we will place a district gate right there. And we'll reconnect it all up. And now this is part of this district. And that is good news. Um, now we kind of want to finish this part first. So that is this. So that we have a hauling post and our beavers that are doing nothing can, uh, can start helping out right over here. Okay, well, they need planks. We're producing them. Look at this. This has priority. They're not doing anything. Oh, because the thing below it has no priority. So, let's give that priority as well. Um, can you not stand there? I kind of want to blow this up. I'll wait. I'll wait until it's nighttime. Or now. There we go. No more problems with beavers. Um, okay. I'm going to prioritize this one. And maybe even these three. So this is going to be regular power shaft right there. And what is there? Is there a medical bed? If I'm not mistaken. No, there's a charging station. Where is our medical beds? Oh, we have two of them right there. Uh, these two. So we probably should do that as well. There and there. And then another charging station right over here. There we go. Connect that up with a path. And uh, that, should, uh, that should work well. Now, if they could place that one, that would be a good rate. This one is just waiting for gears, planks, metal blocks, whatnot. We do not have any explosives. Now we do. I'm going to blow this one up. And place this. Give this priority. And, uh, and then we can look at how the path looks. It's just going all the way back and... Uh, and go in both directions. Yep. That is how it is. Good, good, good. And they're working on that as well. Planks, whatnot. Yeah, gears are being brought there. We have the metal blocks. Oh, they're doing they're doing well. And every time there is a new explos explosive to be placed, they will do it. And yeah, over here, it's just connecting engines to the large water wheels. So this one is going to be placed right here as soon as these two are placed, which this one is already placed. This one we're just waiting for. Okay. Um, these guys are just busy. They will finish all of this at some point. Um, over here, we have a staircase going up. We're now just waiting for one more plank for the hauling post. Then we at least have haulers. Do we? Yeah, we have plenty of unemployed beavers in this district. Um... We might be in trouble then with food. We definitely need that grill done as well. So let's uh, get that grill going, huh? Shall we? This has the highest priority. This one is saying... Something is saying something. Oh, this is not connected to any district center. That is because there is no path connecting this. Um, there we go. That is, n is that the same as these are connected? I think so, right? Yeah. Okay. So that is good. Grill is being made. 
Just a couple of logs. We have plenty. And now this is getting filled with logs. So the logs should be here even quicker. Yeah, it's nice to have all four uh, districts enabled. And uh, we should start working towards the top on this one as well. We have our top uh, done. Wait, except for that this tree is right in the way and it shouldn't be there. And that means we can make a path going that way. And um, that path is going to connect up with the corner piece right here so we can start placing those that one and that one go there we know that we have the same on this side and um yeah we're gonna go around the block and we're gonna go ahead and place more platforms right there okay and now that that tree is gone we can actually connect it up and then we can start working on the stuff over here with the um levees going around like this and there and we can place a large water wheel right there um Let's see on what side. Yeah, on that side, we have the additional levees. So that's on the inside. We have the additional levees. There we go. We can work on those whenever whenever they, they can. They're working on this first, I think. And all of these platforms. But yeah, we have things working now. We're going to go for grilled potatoes. That should um, that should be done very quickly because we have so many potatoes in stock everywhere. They can ship them over here. And uh, and then we can... Uh, I'm probably going to just say to this one, store grilled potatoes over here. Okay, so we have one and a half day of drought left. Not too bad. We can detonate these. So let's do that. And then we can place another large water wheel. And that fits perfectly right in there. Uh, I do want to prioritize this a little bit because it's going to take a while, but we kind of running out of power. This one is still waiting for gears, gears, gears. Everything is waiting for gears. But yeah, we, uh, as soon as we have more power, we can, uh, can do our best. This one is needing charging. That one is needing charging as well. Um, so this doesn't, oh, wait, of course, uh, we can do this now. <laughs> and we can connect them up like so and like so Give this priority so that these charging stations actually work and do something because right now it doesn't do anything um no workers available okay but we have haulers so well we don't really we're running out of beavers in this district. Uh, we do have... 17. And six of them are kind of... Do nothing. Okay. They're all needing recharging, I guess. And that's why we enable these now. So, here they come to recharge. And that should fix a lot of problems with the golems there we go that one is going in there that one's going in there and there and there all right so they're all recharging very nice that should give us a lot of uh additional workforce 
Okay, the planks is going to be a, a, a problem, I think. We do not have a lot of planks in this district. Um, we have zero planks in this district. So, before we are at 80 planks, uh, it's going to be a while. This one is also still waiting for the gears. And we already have wow. two laborer monuments. So, that is lovely. So, next episode, we should be able to start on this industrial area and remove this and get our wheat production back up in this one. Um, over here, we should be expanding our industrial complex. We should also be able to... We can actually unlock it, the mine. And we are going to place that in this district. So... Let's place that and they can start working on it. And we'll probably put uh, golems in this. Maybe. We'll see. It needs to be built first. Anyway, I think that is a good spot to uh, stop at. So we know what we want to do in the next episode. It's finishing all these storage facilities, housing, and uh, get more going on the industrial areas in two of the districts and get a staircase going in the final district so that we can get up there as well. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit the like button. If you're not yet subscribed, please consider doing so. I also occasionally stream on Twitch and we have a Discord server. Both of those links are in the description. I will see you all soon. Thank you for stopping by. Bye for now.